Well, hey, y'all. Um, my name is Willie Lawson of fightbackmedia.com. I trust that you are well this glorious day. Um, you know, we hear from, um, from the left and Democrats that they are about the rule of law. Well, there are three branches of government. There's the executive branch, president. Um, they are, you know, their duty is to execute what the law is. Not change what the law is. Not to determine what the law is. To execute what the law is. The executive branch. There is a legislative branch to, that comes up with, um, comes up with laws, uh, regulations, rules. And then there is the... Um, the, the judicial branch. And basically, not entirely, don't get to a big, you know, discussion with me, is to take those those rules and compare it with case law, compare it with the Constitution to see if it fits in with, with our culture and what we've been doing legally. Legal culture is what I meant. Three, branch, three branches of government, right? This whole thing with Trump and Alvin Bragg in New York, their battle cry has been, no one is above the law, right? No one is above the law. So, the, so we are a nation of laws. Well, who's responsible for making sure that we are, we are a nation of laws? It, it is the, the judicial branch. However, except when it's inconvenient to the left. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez demands that President Joe Biden ignore a Texas judge's ruling to halt the FDA's approval of the abortion pill. She says, I believe that the Biden administration should ignore this ruling. Just ignore it. It's, the judge said, no, you can't do it. And the, um, and Ocasio-Cortez and some others say, ah, eh, screw the judge, right? ALC said on CNN, adding um, that deeply partisan judges have engaged in unprecedented and dramatic erosion of, of the legitimacy of the courts, calling the ruling unfounded. Okay. Now, before I start getting into the rest of, of this, I don't necessarily think that everybody needs or should be a lawyer who gets in Congress. I don't think that that's the thing. I don't even think that everybody should have gone to college to be in Congress. I think there, there would be better, it'd be a better mix if we had fewer elites and we mixed in some regular folks. I do. I think that we that we'd be much further along. I think we'd be much closer to the original intent if we just had smart people, not necessarily people who have been to to you know X Y C you know the ginormous Ivy League universities. I think there needs to be a mix. I'm not a believer in the talented the, the talented tenth mentality necessarily. I think that there needs to be a lot more democratic. Um, approach, a more Catholic approach, a lot of things mixed in there, a lot of different kind of people mixed in there. After all, they keep telling us diversity is our strength, but we keep electing the same kind of people and on both sides of the aisle. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm not saying that someone like uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez should not be, in, shouldn't be in Congress. I'm not saying that at all. Um, people go, well, she was a bartender. Good. Fine. Why can't we on the right find a, a bartender who is willing to serve in Congress? I'm, I have no problem with that. However, I'm not sure how she knows that this ruling is unfounded. So this, this person, Ocasio-Cortez, um, argued that when it comes to the ruling, it relies on enforcement, urging Biden to refrain from complying with the Trump-appointed district um, Judge Matthew uh, Kosmerik, because it's a Trump appointed U.S. District 
um, judge. Now, here's what she doesn't understand. Well, maybe they do. That when this starts happening, once you open some of these doors, once the, the executive branch just ignores what judges say, then we are no longer a nation of laws. We are a kingdom where the, where, where the president is the king and decides what goes and what doesn't go. That's why executive orders are so terrible. If indeed Joe Biden decides, screw the judge, um, here's what we're doing. Screw his ruling. We are no longer a nation of laws. It is the banana republic that everyone keeps talking about, where the leader of the, of the nation just decides whatever is happening and the rest of us just have to put up with it. I'm not sure that you're getting what I'm saying. Because this is this is important, no matter who's in charge, no matter who is in that office. If the if the if the president decides screw what the courts say, screw what the judges say, then then we are in trouble, and we are in a deeper trouble than ever. However, CNN host Anderson Cooper questioned the Democrats, asking if we could live in a country where a government can ignore a federal court ruling, even. Even Anderson Cooper gets this. ALT defended uh, a comment saying the judge's ruling was a power grab. Um, Senator John Wyden, who's a Democrat from Oregon, made, made a similar remark, arguing that the Biden administration can override Kazmierk's ruling for the abortion bill. There's no way the decision has a basis in law, Wyden said. Um, in the judgment, it said it's rooted in, it rooted in conservatives, dangerous and undemocratic takeover of our country's institutions. OK, so what these people are deciding to do is one of the one of the hallmark institutions that we have is our legislative branch. They're deciding to ignore it. Let's take it over. I believe that the, that the FDA has a, the authority to ignore this ruling. Ignore it. Ignore what the judges say. Just ignore it. Wyden suggested that pharmacies and doctors continue their jobs as if there was no ruling made. Ignore the courts. Chaos is what they want. According to Kazmarek's 67-page ruling, he argued the FDA failed to evaluate the psychological and long-term medical effects of the abortion pill, which the agency had previously stated were safe and effective. The ban on milp, um, is mifepristone will not take effect for another week, giving higher courts time to consider the Biden administration's appeal. They want chaos. They need chaos. What do you think? Write it down in the comments. Can't wait to hear from you. My name is Will Lawson. This is a, a production of fightbackmedia.com, 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 and fightbackmediatv.com. Take care of yourself.